CBC News is the division of the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation responsible for the news gathering and production of news programmes on the corporation's English language operations, namely CBC Television, CBC Radio, CBC News Network, and CBC.ca. Founded in 1941, CBC News is the largest news broadcaster in Canada and has local, regional and national broadcasts and stations. It frequently collaborates with its French-language counterpart, Radio Canada Info, although the two are organizationally separate. The CBC follows the journalistic standards and practices which provides the policy framework within which CBC journalism seeks to meet the expectations and obligations it faces from the public. Topic. History The first CBC newscast was a bilingual radio report on November 2, 1936. The CBC News Service was inaugurated during World War II on January 1, 1941 when Dan MacArthur, chief news editor, had Wells Ritchie prepare for the announcer Charles Jennings a national report at 8 p.m. Readers who followed Jennings were Lorne Green, Frank Herbert and Earl Cameron. CBC News Roundup French counterpart, La Revue de l'Actualité started on August 16, 1943 at 7.45 p.m., being replaced by The World at 6 on October 31, 1966. On English-language television the first newscast, part of CBC News Magazine, was given on September 8, 1952 on CBLT, Toronto, the only English station then telecasting. Later that year CBC National News was introduced anchors, Larry Henderson, Earl Cameron, Stanley Burke, then changing its name to The National in 1970, CBC began delivering news online in 1996 via the Newsworld online website. The CBC News online site launched in 1998. In 2009, CBC's television news, radio news and digital news departments were merged into CBC News with a central assignment and reporting structure. In 2013, CBC News relaunched its CBC Aboriginal website, based in Winnipeg, with journalists in Toronto and other cities. In 2016, the site was renamed CBC Indigenous. In 2017, CBC News relaunched its flagship newscast, The National, with four co-anchors based in Toronto, Ottawa and Vancouver. CBC News has won Canadian awards including Michener, Gemini, Canadian Screen, Canadian Association of Journalists and RTDNA Awards and internationally, Pre-Italia, Monte Carlo, Gabriel, Gracie and International Emmys, thousands of hours of archival CBC News programming are available at the CBC Digital Archives website and Facebook page. Topic. News output Topic. Television The television news section of CBC News is responsible for the news programs on CBC Television and CBC News Network, including national news programs like The National, Marketplace, The Fifth Estate, The Investigators with Diana Swain and The Weekly with Wendy Mesley. They are also responsible for news, business, weather and sports information for Air Canada's in-flight entertainment. The distinctive music on all CBC television news programs was introduced in 2006 as part of the extensive rebranding of all news programming under the CBC News title. Topic: Local news. 
Most local newscasts on CBC television are currently branded as CBC News, City, Province name, such as CBC News, Toronto at 6. Local radio newscasts are heard on the half hour during morning and afternoon drive shows and on the hour at other times during the day. Topic. Radio The radio news section of CBC News produces on the hour updates for the CBC's national radio newscasts and provides content for regional updates. Major radio programs include World Report, The World at Six, The World This Hour and The World This Weekend. The majority of news and information is aired on CBC Radio 1. All newscasts are available on demand online, via apps or via voice-activated virtual assistants. Topic. Online CBC News Online is the CBC's cbc.ca news website. Launched in 1996, it was named one of the most popular news websites in Canada in 2012. The website provides regional, national, and international news coverage, and investigative, politics, business, arts and entertainment, investigative, politics, business, entertainment, indigenous, health, science and tech news. An opinion section was reintroduced in November 2016. Many reports are accompanied by podcasting, audio and video from the CBC's television and radio news services. CBC News content is available on multiple platforms including Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, etc. Topic CBC News Network CBC News Network formerly CBC Newsworld is an English language news channel owned and operated by the CBC It began broadcasting on July 31, 1989 from several regional studios in Halifax, Toronto, Winnipeg and Calgary it was revamped and relaunched as the CBC News Network in 2009 as part of a larger renewal of the CBC News division. Current programs include CBC News Now, based in Toronto with Heather Hiscox, Suhana Maharshand, Carol McNeil, John Northcott, Andrew Nichols weekdays, and Artie Pohl and Michael Serapio weekends, Power and Politics, based in Ottawa with host Vassi Capellis, and The National with Adrian Arsinoe and, Ian Hanamansing, Toronto, Andrew Chong, Vancouver, and Rosemary Barton, Ottawa. Topic. Weather Center In November 2005, the CBC News Weather Center was established to cover local and international weather, using in part data provided by Environment Canada. Claire Martin was hired to serve as the primary face of the Weather Center. In April 2014, the National Weather Center was effectively disbanded due to CBC budget cuts. Martin had left the CBC a few months prior. Weather presenters at local CBC stations were retained but with the added responsibility of supplying reports for the National and CBC News Network. In November 2014, citing difficulties implementing this new system, system, CBC announced a one-year trial content sharing partnership with the Weather Network, the privately owned cable specialty channel, which went into effect on December 8. Under the partnership, in exchange for access to weather-related news coverage from the CBC, the Weather Network provides the national weather reports seen on the national and CBCNN daytime programming, as well as local forecasts for CBC Toronto's weekend newscasts. Apart from Toronto, weather coverage during local newscasts was not affected, and CBC Vancouver meteorologist Johanna Wagstaff continues to provide weather coverage for the Vancouver-based primetime editions of CBC News Now on CBCNN.
Most local CBC stations have retained their weather team to provide local weather information, including Johanna Wagstaff, CBC Vancouver Meteorologist Ian Black, CBC Ottawa Meteorologist John Sauter, CBC Manitoba Meteorologist Jay Scotland, CBC Pay Meteorologist Karen Johnson, CBC Toronto and Windsor Weather Specialist Frank Cavallaro, CBC Montreal Weather Specialist Tanara McLean, CBC Edmonton, Calgary Weather Specialist The content partnership with the Weather Network has continued beyond the original one-year period, and has been expanded. The weather section of CBC.ca has been phased out in favor of forecasts from the Weather Network, and local CBC news headlines are displayed on the latter's website. Topic. Programming Topic Television CBC News provides the following television programs. Current programs, the national, flagship news program CBC News Now The Fifth Estate, Weekly News Magazine Marketplace, Consumer News Magazine Power and Politics, Political News Program The Weekly with Wendy Mesley The Investigators with Diana Swain Local Newscasts Documentary Series Doc Zone, The Passionate Eye, CBC Docs Pov and The Nature of Things air on CBC News Network but are not produced by CBC News. Former programs CBC News Magazine 1952-81 The Journal 1982-92 CBC Prime Time News 1992-1995 Mansbridge One on One 1999-2017 the Exchange 2009 to 2016 On the Money Business News Program 2016 to 2018 Topic Radio CBC News provides the following radio programs World Report Morning Newscast the World This Hour, Hourly Newscast The World at Six, National Dinner Hour Newscast The World This Weekend The House, Weekly National Political Affairs Show Local Newscasts Topic. Digital CBC Digital provides the following services cbcnews.ca website and digital news app Live and on-demand streaming of radio and TV news programming Podcasts, broadcast highlights and original content like Finding Clio Social media including Facebook, Instagram and Snapchat CBC News Twitter feed has over 2.5 M followers. Digital delivery of CBC News in airports, trains, elevators and coffee chain. Topic. CBC News Standards The CBC follows the journalistic standards and practices which provides the policy framework within which CBC journalism seeks to meet the expectations and obligations it faces from the public. The same standards apply to both CBC News and its French-language counterpart, Info Radio Canada. Revised guidelines released in 2018 address contemporary issues such as the ethical use of drones by journalists. Topic. Allegations of bias 
Several conservative outlets and politicians have accused the CBC of liberal bias in its news coverage, including the National Post, former Prime Minister Stephen Harper and columnist Barbara Amiel. In 2009, CBC President Hubert LaCroix commissioned a study to determine whether its news was biased, and if so, to what extent. He said, Our job, and we take it seriously is to ensure that the information that we put out is fair and unbiased in everything that we do." The study, the methodology of which was not specified, was due to report results in the fall of 2010. In April 2010, the Conservatives accused pollster Frank Graves of giving partisan advice to the Liberal Party of Canada, noting his donations to the party since 2003. Graves directed a number of public opinion research projects on behalf of the CBC as well as other media organizations, and also appeared on a number of CBC television programs relating to politics. An investigation conducted by the CBC Ombudsman found no evidence to support these allegations, stating that personal donor history is not relevant to one's objectivity as a pollster. The CBC itself has denied all allegations of bias, saying that it is the duty of CBC News to inform its viewers across the country about what is happening, without bias or prejudice, and without telling them what to think. We believe that it is our obligation to report fairly and truthfully. Topic. CBC News Hall of Fame The CBC News Hall of Fame was established in 2015 to honour men and women who have shaped Canadian journalism. Located in CBC's Toronto headquarters, inductees include 2015 Knowlton Nash 2016 Joe Schlesinger 2017 Barbara Frum 2018 Trina McQueen Topic. Ombudsman The CBC sets out to maintain its accuracy, integrity and fairness in its journalism. As a Canadian institution and a press undertaking, CBC set out the journalistic standards and practices and works in compliance with these principles. Balanced viewpoints must be presented through on-the-air discussions. As it is with other public and private journalistic undertakings, credibility in the eyes of the general population is seen as the corporation's most valuable asset. The CBC Ombudsman is completely independent of CBC program staff and management, reporting directly to the President of the CBC and, through the President, to the corporation's board of directors. Topic. CBC News Bureau CBC has reporters stationed in the following cities. Main cities are listed with the notation M. Whitehorse, Yukon M. Victoria, British Columbia Vancouver, British Columbia M. Kamloops, British Columbia Kelowna, British Columbia Nelson, British Columbia Prince George, British Columbia Prince Rupert, British Columbia Yellowknife, Northwest Territories M. Anuvik, Northwest Territories Calgary, Alberta M. Edmonton, Alberta M. Saskatoon, Saskatchewan Fort McMurray, Alberta Regina, Saskatchewan M. Winnipeg, Manitoba M. Brandon, Manitoba Thunder Bay, Ontario Windsor, Ontario M. London, Ontario Sudbury, Ontario 
Kitchener-Waterloo, Ontario Hamilton, Ontario Toronto, Ontario, M Ottawa, Ontario, M Montreal, Quebec, M Quebec City, Quebec, M Sherbrooke, Quebec Fredericton, New Brunswick, M St. John, New Brunswick Happy Valley Goose Bay, Newfoundland and Labrador Moncton, New Brunswick Bathurst, New Brunswick Halifax, Nova Scotia, M Charlottetown, Prince Edward Island, M Sydney, Nova Scotia Corner Brook, Newfoundland and Labrador Gander, Newfoundland and Labrador Street. Johns, Newfoundland and Labrador, M. Akaluit, Nunavut currently vacant. Thompson, Manitoba. Labrador City, Newfoundland and Labrador. Hay River, Northwest Territories. Topic: International London, United Kingdom, M. Jerusalem, Israel, M. Beijing, China, M. Washington, D.C., United States, M. New York City, United States, M. Los Angeles, United States. Moscow, Russia CBC also uses satellite bureaus, with reporters who fly in when a story occurs outside the bureaus. In the late 1990s, the CBC and other media outlets cut back their overseas operations. Topic. Foreign correspondence London, Nala Aid, Margaret Evans with Thomas Daigle and Jared Thomas Jerusalem, Derek Stoffel Beijing, Sasa Petrasik Washington, D.C., Paul Hunter, Keith Boag with Matt Kwong, Ellen Morrow, and Lindsay Duncombe New York, Stephen D'Souza Los Angeles, Kim Brunhuber Moscow, Chris Brown. Topic CBC News In other countries from 1994 to 2000, the CBC, in a venture with Power Broadcasting, former owner of CKWS in Kingston, jointly owned two networks, Newsworld International NWI, an American cable channel that rebroadcast much of the programming of CBC Newsworld Trio, an arts and entertainment channel in 2000, CBC and Power Broadcasting sold these channels to Barry Diller's USA Networks. Diller's company was later acquired by Vivendi Universal, which in turn was partially acquired by NBC to form NBC Universal. NBC Universal still owns the Trio brand, which no longer has any association with the CBC and, as of the end of 2005, became an internet only broadband channel. However, the CBC continued to program NWI, with much of its programming simulcast on the domestic Newsworld service. In late 2004, as a result of a further change in NWI's ownership to the INDTV consortium including Joel Hyatt and former Vice President of the United States Al Gore, NWI ceased airing CBC programming on August 1, 2005, when it was renamed Current TV. It was sold to the Al Jazeera Media Network in 2013 and became Al Jazeera America. On September 11, 2001, several American broadcasters without their own news operations, including C-SPAN, carried the CBC's coverage of the September 11, 2001 attacks in New York City and Washington, D.C. In the days after September 11, C-SPAN carried CBC's nightly newscast, The National, anchored by Peter Mansbridge. 
The quality of this coverage was recognized specifically by the Canadian Journalism Foundation. Editor in chief Tony Berman later accepted the Excellence in Journalism Award 2004 for rigorous professional practice, accuracy, originality, and public accountability on behalf of the service. C-SPAN has also carried CBC's coverage of major events affecting Canadians, including, Canadian federal elections six days in September 2000 that marked the death and state funeral of Pierre Elliott Trudeau the war in Iraq. The National aired on C-SPAN each night for about three weeks following the start of the war on Iraq the power outage crisis in summer 2003 key proceedings in Canadian Parliament U.S. presidential elections. In 2004, C-SPAN picked up the national the day after the election for the view from Canadians. In 2008, C-SPAN carried the CBC's coverage of the election. State visits and official visits of American presidents to Canada Barack Obama inauguration in 2009, with the launch of Sirius Canada in December 2005, some of the CBC's radio networks including CBC Radio 1, Radio Canada International, and Sirius Exclusives Radio 3 and Bande A Part channels are available to Sirius subscribers in the United States. A joint investigation between CBC and the Australian Broadcasting Corporation revealed questionable sales tactics employed by the travel company The Global Work and Travel Co. CBC and ABC interviewed former salespersons who were quoted as saying they felt like they were tricking people. Topic. See also. List of Canadian Broadcasting Corporation personalities CNN